Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 2012, Friday, March the 1st, and uh, Moonton released their recurring dev insight this morning. So we're going to go over that pretty quickly. We're going to have a little uh, sidebar conversation. It's going to be a good time. So we'll go through these and uh, pretty quickly, pretty quickly. Question number one. Primary defender stats are HP, defense, rage, regen, and attack speed. Adjust Immortal Warrior, Ancients. He said they need HP and defense percent substats, period, dot. And they said, yeah, we'll think about it. Eh, your kind of standard answer. Here's an idea. Yeah, we'll think about it. It's not good business to just outright tell people no, so you'll always consider anything. Question number two. In addition to current guild boss rewards, please make a guild boss blood into a currency that can be redeemed for rewards from the guild boss chest. A legendary soul stone could cost, for example, several million blood. Um, I, this is a fantastic idea. I think it's great. Uh, and they actually say, thank you for the suggestion. We'll continue to optimize and adjust guild boss rewards, right? So they don't say that they'll specifically do this idea, but they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll work on guild boss as we work on everything in this game, right? It's a canned answer, but I really like this question. I like this idea. I like this suggestion, especially for the legendary Soulstone piece, right? Because they are so rare. People can easily play do nightmare three and four every day for a year and not get a single one i've been really lucky i've gotten three but i know lots of people that have been playing just as long as me that have gotten zero um very 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 low chance to get them and so having this in there that um gives everyone something to reach for and strive for for like the big stuff like the legendary soul stones but also for you know the people that aren't quite there yet they can get you know x number and just get a legendary like a skill crystal you know what i mean as they're progressing through their their guild boss difficulties i think it's a great idea i think it's a great idea question three after a player has cleared all stage 21s please include top tier sets in the gear available in the dwarven shop and they said hey we'll think about it but it's going to be pretty spendy which so we're talking about you know once you clear 21s like right now currently you can get um some red gear in there some mythic gear in there right but it's almost always trash and they're saying hey make it randomly so that we can buy a piece of infernal roar um yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting. I'm curious um, because they specifically said that they'll consider it, but it, the cost would be pretty high. That that makes me think it's a legitimate consideration and not just a canned consideration if they're going to throw in that little piece on the end about its cost. So I'm curious what that would be. Question four. I feel what needs to be made more clear in the game because of all those rewards previously when I completed each of those difficulty requests, I got that record. reward. Thanks for the suggestion. We'll add corresponding explanations. I don't even know what the question was. I don't know. Sorry, question four. Question five looks like we have some German. So let's take this and put that into our friend. What is going on? There we go. I don't know why my computer did that. Mr. Google Translate. All right, so hello, Watcher of Realms team. I've been playing very intensively for 74 days and have already invested a lot of money, around 500 euros. In principle, I think the game is very good, but I'm starting to get extremely annoyed by the fact that the most important resources in the game are so rare or difficult to obtain that I'm losing joy, specifically five-star physical power and legendary skill crystals. It's meaningless if you have 20 legendary heroes, but only half of them can advance to six stars or two of them can be fully skilled. So we're talking about the, the war equivalent of chickens here. Uh, becomes really tedious. You can't enjoy the new legendary heroes. Yeah, it's definitely character development is definitely uh, a long game uh, game to play. Realistically, uh, it's going to take a while unless you're spending a lot of money. So I empathize. In addition, in the arena, I constantly have the feeling of being inferior to players who have been there longer and have a higher level. That's not fun. Again, yeah, I empathize, but uh, that's that's part of jumping into uh, a game months after others you're you're gonna have to play catch up i'll soon stop playing again and that's a shame uh just, just be patient my friend be patient my suggestion is to give more five star physical force and legendary skill crystals as rewards currently you only get them with lots of luck from guild boss very rarely or in some challenges but like for summoning but you need something like six thousand points or more it's just not possible on a weekly basis prices in the shop are ridiculous uh it's way too expensive cormino a name's familiar i i feel like I feel like you commented on one of my videos recently. 
Um, so let's put this down. Basically he says, hey, I'm new, relatively new. I'm enjoying the game. I'm supporting the game. But man, it is hard to catch up with the people that have been playing since launch. And they said, thank you for the suggestion. Once new gameplays are introduced in the future, there will be more ways to obtain such items. Again, it's a, it's a be patient thing, right? Everything comes over time. Uh, and sometimes we just got to be patient. Question number six, we have another job for the Google Translate. Let's get it up. Close out of there. All right, some Russian. Hello, almost no one needs the rewards that are given in this event, especially players at a higher level need to change it to something better so that it would be interesting for high level players to go through such events. We'll at least change it to the same, but purple. There's no context there. Thank you for the suggestion. We will adjust event rewards after each session opens. I wonder what event they were talking about. Uh, word to the wise, folks, if we're putting in questions for the devs to answer, uh, provide the context. Question seven, actually add the legendary skill crystal as a nightmare void reward instead of just showing it as a reward but not giving it to anyone. Uh, and they said, hey, uh, there's, a, there's a small chance, sorry. If not enough people get it, we'll monitor data. Don't worry. Uh, every event shop lately has gold as a purchasable item. Could you replace it with an experience potion? And they said, yeah, we'll think about it. Game needs more debuff heroes. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. Uh, we'll take it into account. Normal, canned, thanks. We'll think about it. Question 10. This is kind of interesting. Hollow and Autumn should be dual faction with Esoteric. They would both fit the theme and wouldn't break any game owns. This would also help people finish faction trials instead of needing two legendary healers, uh, which is frustrating for Esoteric's faction trials stage 10. You can beat 12. You can farm the sigils for your Pantheon, but you can't completely finish and get your free um, legendary hero pact without pulling Ezrin and Elowen. It's frustrating. Uh, and they said, hey, stand by, be patient. We'll add people down the road. Far for the course. All right, next question. More Google Translate. Let's go here. Anyone doing anything exciting this weekend? We are cleaning, prepping to move. It would be nice to be able to improve the equipment that was dropped directly in a raid so as not to have to stop to improve and then restart a raid due to lack of space or to increase the storage capacity of the equipment but to improve it directly in combat. That would be great. That, that would be good. Kind of a pain, but it would be interesting. We've already launched the background battle functionality during these battles. Commanders can simultaneously perform gear upgrades and other operations. Um, yes, that's... So that's not what they're referring to, right? The question was in reference to the gear that you're receiving from the gear raids. Um, like when you go to sell them, if you get one that you're like, oh, I want to roll that, roll it up to 12, decide then if you want to sell it, as opposed to getting gear from raiding and then upgrading the gear that you already have in storage. Those are two different scenarios, uh, Moonton. So... Context is important. Question 12. Everything is great, but I hope you'll add more skins, please. Thank you for the suggestion. We'll continue to introduce them. Awesome. Skins are fun. Hello. Can I get the Arabic language in the game? We'll consider adding more languages in future updates. That's good. More people that can play it, the better. Question 14. A commander, tent, or home, or hut where you can appoint summoned heroes as wives or husbands to stay in the tent with you. Customizable interior with achievement banners and decorations that would give the camp a little more customization. Uh, our camp will have some ways for everyone to adjust accessories. Um, that is, that is, that's, that's an interesting suggestion. I never would have thought of that, but they're, uh, they're going to have ways for us to adjust the camp. So fun, fun. Please add a new set in the game. No need to be premium. You guys can add something like toxic set, poison, stun, frozen, ignore defense, etc. We're continuously updating sets with different functions. We'll also continue to release more sets for everyone to choose from in the future. Hey, hey, Gear Raid 4, coming up soon. I fully support... Okay, we need to talk about this one. Question 16. I fully support the Boreas nerf, and I disagree with Fastidious. I don't think his approach of asking for a refund would solve the issue. Instead, I think the best way is to make a statement to the community that nerfing slash buffing heroes isn't a one-time thing. You need to let us know that you're committed to making hero adjustments on a regular basis, monthly or once every two months. For example, it's okay that you're planning to nerf Brace right now, but you also need to let the community know that there's a chance you will buff him again sometime in the future in a different way than he used to function and make him shine in a different piece of content. And they said, thanks. After we, you know, 
after we finalize the adjustments, we'll make announcements to everyone. Um, but we need to talk about this a little bit. I'm curious why this question was selected. We're gonna we're gonna adjust a little bit there. Why was this question selected for the Dev Insight? Because it completely right the person whoever it is they're calling out Fastidious, um, which you know whatever people are allowed to disagree with anyone they want you know Fastidious or otherwise, but from the perspective of the company, there's, I would highly assume that there were a number of people that put forth commentary about the nerf um, in support of the nerf, right? You got to think that these questions are selected. It's not like these are the only questions that get asked during this, you know, week or two week period, whatever it is. Let's see here, um, January 29th to February 25th. So we're talking about a full month this time. So more than 20 questions get asked in a month. So someone selected this question, why this one specifically, right? Why are we gonna select a question that is intentionally calling out someone in a arguably a negative way, right? I don't know. It's bad business. It's, it's, it is what it is. Um, but regardless of who selected this question or why they selected it to the person that asked the question, here's a little lesson for you. Um, there's, there's no real value in claiming opposition to a specific person unless you are in direct competition with that person, right? In some way, shape, or form, then there's potentially value there. There's, um, it's, it's damaging for relationships, okay? And the way that you would do that, let's, let's have a little, a little, political lesson here for a minute, right? Because all politics is, politics doesn't have to mean government politics. Politics is just the business of people. You're understanding people, you're understanding how they think, you understand how they will likely respond to certain things, right? So for the person that selected this question at Moonton, um, uh, no, I'm not even gonna go there. The person that wrote the question, the person that wrote the question, it, it's more beneficial for relationships, right? To phrase your question in a way that uh, eliminates the direct competition, right? So, I mean, you easily could have said, I fully support the, the Boreas nerf, but um, I've heard many people saying that there should be some sort of, of a refund element, and I don't think that's the optimal solution. I think a better approach would be to do X, right? Then you're not throwing people under the bus because other people are allowed to think what they think, just like you're allowed to think what you think. And there's no value there. But uh, I'm curious, I'm curious. I'm curious is all, right? Next topic. We were there long enough. Question 17, there needs to be recurring story quests. Maybe make it a slightly harder version, have the end reward. Uh, yeah, I agree. Recurring story stuff would be awesome. We're working intensively on the main storylines and modes. We hope to bring everyone unique impressions. Heck yeah. Question 18, this is a big one. The Emerald Ire, an orange haired ginger with braided hair, emerald green eyes, or Kelly green or light. The long description. Um, uh, what they can do, specific details. I mean, it's really cool. I'm not going to read it word for word because it's super long and you can read it yourself. But uh, uh, there's some other questions down here. Will there be a fragment summon event for Deimos? I still don't have Deimos. Yeah, Deimos has crazy low rates. If there's a possibility to unlock all the rare character awakenings as only some have awakenings, I agree. Come on, Moonton, what are you doing? 
Perhaps give the rares more useful viability with a rares only challenge stage. That would be super cool. Epics only challenge stage, also super cool. Uh, and it looks like what they continued to write just got cut off. It didn't even get finished. Thank you for the suggestion, Commander. Thank you for the love of the game. Good games thrive on collaboration between the players and the designers. That's ironic coming from probably the same person that just selected a question that was bashing one of the top content creators in the space. Uh, but hey, irony. We have documented each of your fantastic ideas, which may be applied regarding the other suggestions you mentioned. We'll also evaluate and consider them seriously. And some of them are already in the planning stage, which is cool, right? You got to think Watcher of Realms has a, they've got a long-term plan, right? They've got a vision, they've got goals. These are going to be going on. Um, they probably already have ideas of what they're doing for the next couple years. So uh, hopefully these planning stages are sooner rather than later. And personally, hopefully they're like the rare only and the epic only challenge stuff because I think those are super fun ideas. So um, not a whole lot in this dev insight that was useful. Um, <laughs> um, the only, you know, the biggest takeaway here was that whoever Moonton has selecting their questions they need to um, they need to be taught a little bit about business etiquette in my opinion but uh, that's that's just one man's thoughts so that's the video I'm I'm trying to choose my words carefully. Um, thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, please support the channel like comment subscribe, share it with your friends. I will see you in the next one.